If you want to get clothing manufactured, you're going to need to learn how to make a good tech pack. A tech pack is pretty much just detailed instructions for your manufacturer so that they can know how to make your garment correctly. Tech packs might seem difficult to make, but honestly, it's not that hard. It just takes a little bit of time. So in this video, I'll show you guys the easiest and quickest way that I've found. This method has worked perfectly fine for me, and I have made thousands of garments with my brand OmniWorld. There are multiple apps or websites that you can use to make tech packs. Personally, I use Adobe Illustrator every single time, but you could also use apps like Procreate or websites like Canva. But I'm just gonna teach you guys the format and the systems so you can do it on any app or website whatsoever. And I added timestamps to the video if you guys just wanna skip ahead to any specific part. Anyways, let's get started. All right, guys, let me show you an example of a recent tech pack that I just made. I actually just got the sample made, so I'll put the photo on the screen. They turned out pretty fire, so so it looks just like the drawing, which means I did a pretty good tech pack. All right, so first page, we just have simple tech pack. Second page, we have a little sketch with just a little notes. Then we have details on the front side, back details. And then we have specific measurements that I put in, some of the pocket measurements some information on this back hole, examples of the wash, a full size chart, which you're welcome. And that is it for this tech pack. So something to note is that not all tech packs are going to look the same. This is just the method that I personally use, which has worked perfectly for me, but it doesn't mean it's the only way to create them. This method is simple and it does not overcomplicate things at all. And so how do you make a good tech pack and avoid any errors in sampling or manufacturing. Number one is detail. You're going to want to have as much detail as possible. It can be tedious, but it is very worth it because you will avoid errors. In the beginning, when I started my brand, I didn't send tech packs to my manufacturer because it was hard to do and I was lazy and I didn't want to do it. So I'd order a sample and then once it came back, there would be a bunch of errors in it because I didn't specify all of the details and then so I just had to order more samples and if you don't know samples cost like a hundred to two hundred dollars so it's very expensive you do not want to be paying for multiple samples definitely want to avoid it if possible so be super detailed and leave zero room for error now the second thing is clarity you want to be as clear as possible. That's why I said do not overcomplicate it. Just keep it as simple as possible. You also have to keep in mind that a lot of you, myself included, are primarily manufacturing in China. So English is not their first language. So you got to be as clear and specific as possible. Your tech pack should be simple, should be a clean layout. You should include as many reference photos as you can, and you should have clean detailed mock-ups if you don't know how to find a manufacturer i just dropped a tutorial on it all right guys first up i will show you how to do it in illustrator because that is the best way to create tech packs 100 percent so i have this design that i will be using i'm just going to click new unless you're using a template you would click file new from template so this is the tech pack template that i created as you can see it has all of the boxes here i filled it out specifically to me but then it has all of this stuff as well, the drag and drop stuff. So if you don't have a template, you'll just have this screen here. And I created mine at 2000 by 2000 pixels. So the first thing you wanna do is go over to edit artboards on the right side. And then you're just gonna click this plus and make, I don't know, maybe like 10 artboards. And then we can click rearrange all right here. And then we're gonna do five columns. So we have this layout here. All right, so I just put these designs in here. Now I'm going to rasterize it just so it's not big ass file. So we're just going to put these two on the front page and then just write tech pack. And then so the second page here, this is just going to be the sketch, which is just going to be the front and the back. And then if we want to make the little boxy thing, we can just go over here to the left side line tool, right click it and press rectangular grid tool. And if we just click on it, this little thing will come up Two horizontal, two vertical dividers. And then make this bigger. And then we'll just over here, click add stroke to it. And then so up here, I'm just going to copy and paste this information because it's already filled out for me. Okay, I filled that out. Then I'm just gonna add the little description down here. So if you press M, that'll be the rectangle tool. And you can just drag this here. And then we can just flip it over on this side. So now it's just a stroke, no fill. And then I'm just going to write a little description about the pants. All right, here we go. So this is a little janky without the template, but it works. I'm making this quick so you guys can make it look a little bit better if you want, but 
like I said, as long as they can understand it, then you'll be good. So this is just a quick little description of what these are. Next up will be the details on the front side and then the details on the back side. Okay, so remember here, you are gonna wanna be as detailed as possible and just very specific about everything. And so we're gonna just write down all the details. So here we have zipper pocket and you can either press P for the pen tool or you can press the backslash thing, I think is what it is for the line segment tool. And it'll draw a line here, add a little stroke, make sure it is visible. So if you have a black pair of pants, don't use a black line. All right, guys, and here's the example. So this is the simple version. I could just say zipper pocket. Please make it like this. Or I can say pocket with YKK zipper four by four inches. Now this one is much better because it has these specific details and they are going to make it four by four inches. Whereas if you just do this, they might be able to look at it and make it pretty accurately, but I would definitely get the specific measurements just so you can know exactly what it's going to look like and they don't mess it up at all. All right, there we go. I have all of the details that I just put in. All right, so next up, I'm just going to put in the size chart. I'm just going to use the same size chart that I use for my Defender denim. Now, for you guys to make your own size charts, I definitely wouldn't recommend to just like copy somebody else's size chart because this size chart that I'm using this is just specific to the way that I like it. So, so for many of you, it's going to be different. You're not going to want these exact measurements. All right, the best way for you guys to get your own measurements, go find a pair of pants in your closet that you like how they fit or like go to Goodwill, thrift some shit, but find something that you can actually measure, get a tape measure like this, and then get some measurements. It's pretty simple, guys. Also, if you go to essence.com, they have size charts on every single garment, I'm pretty sure. Or just go to like any website, Nike, they're going to have size charts. Just look at their size charts. All right, guys, next up, some examples for the fading. I literally just looked up brown faded work pants, found this image. Just going to copy and paste it into Illustrator now. So boom, there we go. All right, so I also got the back side. You guys are definitely going to have both sides of a hoodie or pants or whatever garment for examples. Every time I only send one, they're always like, send me the back side too. So make sure you have front and back examples. All right, so we got the fading. We also want to add in the logo or your graphic if you have it. So I have this 3D embossed logo that I added. Same thing, if you have a hoodie here, you're going to want to label it again with the size. So, you know, if I have a big ass print down here, make sure to specify that that print is going to be 30 inches tall or whatever it's going to be. And you can usually just say one of the Measurements, you don't have to say length and width because the design is going to have its own ratio, its own like aspect ratio. So if you say, for example, 10 inches wide, they're going to use that up to scale. So, you know, they're going to figure out what the height is because it's up to scale, if that makes sense. Anyways, you're going to include the graphics in here so it's all in the tech pack. The other thing you want to add is your size tags. So this is my little size tag that I just made. If you have the tech pack template that I made, there are size tag templates to use. And then so I'd also just add in the measurements for this. So maybe like one inch tall, three inches wide, something like that. So this is that stuff in the template. So there's like the poly bag or the hang tag here, or if we need a care tag. So I'm just going to copy and paste these into this one. And the template really just makes this stuff a lot quicker. Like I said, you don't need it, but it just makes it a lot easier. So I definitely would recommend it. All right, so I literally just drag and drop these over and then just put the logo on them. Obviously you'll put your own logo here. Template also already has the measurements for you. These are just like super default measurements. So obviously you can change it if you need to. This text is editable. That's pretty much it though. If you had multiple colorways for the pants, so if I was doing like brown and black and blue, I would include the multiple colorways in here as well on its own page, as well as color examples for each different colorway, or more so for the fading actually, because when you're doing the color, your manufacturer will send you a color card that you can choose the color from, but for the fading, it's generally best to send them specific examples. So if you're just doing a washing effect, definitely send examples for that. But yeah, that is everything here. And then to export it, you'll go up to file, export, export for screens. You'll want to select all of them, deselect any if you don't need them, then go to format, PDF, and do single file. Then you'll click export artboard and you'll be good. All right, and then the next step would be to send this tech pack to your manufacturer. 
If you don't know how to find a manufacturer, I made a full tutorial on it, so make sure you watch that. If you watch this full video with the Adobe Illustrator tutorial, then you know how to create a tech pack. It doesn't matter if you're on Illustrator or Canva. You can still do it because it's all the same process. And that is all. I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you guys. Make sure you follow me and the brand on Instagram. I'm also going to have spots opening up pretty soon for a one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me. If you're interested in that, the link is in the description as well. Appreciate you guys for watching. See you later.